In this demonstration, we're going to look at how we can configure and implement Access Denied Assistance for Dynamic Access Control. Dynamic Access Control allows me to protect the file system. And one of the things that we may get when a user double clicks on a file or double clicks on a folder is they may get an Access Denied message. It would be nice to provide them with some additional information. So we can do that through group policies. So what we're going to do here is we've just come onto our Active Directory Domain Controller. I've launched up my group policy management. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to find our group policies. In an earlier demo, what I did was, if we just come to our DAC protected organization unit, is I created this group policy called DAC protected. So let's just edit this. And we'll maximize this up a little bit. And what we want to do here is this is where we want to specify our access denied messages. So what we're going to do here under computers, we're going to go to policies. Under policies, we're going to go to admin templates. And under admin templates, we're going to go to system. And then below system, we're going to look for our access denied assistance. And this is where we're going to come in and just start modifying some of these properties. So the first one I'm going to go for here is our customized message for access denied. And what we want to do here is we just need to fill this in. What we've done here is we've enabled the policy. What we've done is we've also typed in a little bit of text. So as it says here, you are denied access. And then because of a permission policy, and please, and then we've got ring IT support on extension 21 for access. Then what we've also done down here as well is turn a little tick box to enable users to request assistance. And we can add some information to the end of an email. If we scroll down a little bit further, email recipients. So we've got folder owner and file server administrator. And if we scroll down a bit further, we can put in additional recipients and email settings. We can include some information that will help our IT department actually come in here and figure out exactly what the problem is. So we'll just select OK at this point here. And what we've also got here as well is we've got enable access denied assistance on client for all file types. Yes, we will enable that as well. Now that we've done all of that, we'll just select OK. Next thing to do, because we've created this group policy and we've modified this group policy, next thing we need to do is we need to push the changes out. So all we'll do on our file server, we'll push the changes out. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.